Hello everybody, Hassan here, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, guys, I want to talk about Elon Musk and Tesla stopping Bitcoin transaction, a follow-up from our previous video. So if you haven't watched it, please do so. I think you will find a lot of value from first thoughts, like what are our first impressions. I think it's very important as an investor to really have your first thoughts document this so you understand after in a future time n plus one how do you actually feel about what your first thoughts were and where do you stand stand currently now obviously things have changed since yesterday i've been in discussion with a few people i've read a few a uh, few discussion comments i've been able to really reflect on elon musk thinking here um, so and of course elon musk himself tweeted this today he posted this graph here that Bitcoin electricity consumption, as you can see, has clearly increased significantly since 2016. Just a year alone, the past year alone, it has increased. And then if you guys know a little bit about Michael Saylor, Michael Saylor is a big, big proponent of Bitcoin. He got into Bitcoin mid last year in 2020 and he is the ceo and founder of a 20 plus year tech company called microstrategy it's a public company and he's still the ceo of this company and he basically responded to elon musk tweet today with how year to date the electricity com consumption has increased 40 percent during the same period the network actually grew by 100 percent right and it also means that the energy efficient dramatically improved during the same period, right? And that means that Bitcoin is becoming less energy intensive as it scales, right? Makes sense. And if we take a look at Elon Musk replying to that tweet that we just looked at from Michael Saylor, he posted this article from Ars Technica and it's basically a private equity firm revised zombie fossil fuel power plant to mine Bitcoin. And what this article really is, is basically stating how there is a, 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 a company that really revived its fossil fuels power plant in upstate New York because they saw opportunities to mine Bitcoin. Now, obviously, we know today that there are many many opportunities to make significant profits by mining bitcoin and because you need a lot of computing power that means you need electricity and this electricity in this case this power plant uh, i guess it's called green green edge green edge their their power plant is coming off from coal which is dirty energy dirty their dirty emissions that are polluting our planet and one thing I want to note on this, guys, on this article is that currently, as we speak, there are environmental groups in those communities that are protesting against this company and they've already launched a few lawsuits. Now, why am I stating this? Why does it matter? We'll get to that in just a second. I just want to keep going here. I want to take a look at some other tweets that happened in the same thread that Elon Musk announced this announcement from um from tesla and he michael seller again he announced he posted this he tweeted this is that bitcoin offered 8 billion people a superior technology that will guarantee human rights to property as a solution to the global pro problem of inflation and currency devaluation which creates 10 plus trillion economic damage per year Right, isn't the fossil fuel mix second order? And then he posted this graph that we looked at the previous video that we'll see again just shortly. So we'll take this off. Let's take a look at another tweet. This is from um, Pump, Anthony Pump. He's very, very known in the Bitcoin world. He was big, big pro proponent of Bitcoin in 2018 and 19 during the bear market. And you can clearly see here that he's stating that 75% of the miners use rene renewable energy. And we've mentioned that statistic in the previous video yesterday that 25 percent of the miners are done through dirty energy and most of them are from obviously from unregulated regions from the rest of the world such as china right and this another tweet here this is from elon musk literally as i created this video right before i hit the recording button he tweeted it is time it is high time there was a high carbon tax what is carbon tax is basically the government coming in and taxing carbon usage doesn't matter from what 
if you use carbon, if you use oil, if you use such, you will be taxed. And this is an incentive for companies, for institutions, for communities to promote renewable energy sources. Now, I just want to go back here in this graph, guys. I just want to stay here just for a second and the other table that we looked at in the previous video. Bitcoin, it's not a secret that it needs energy to run, right? But it doesn't necessarily obviously need dirty energy, right? So that means it doesn't need to come from coal, fossil fuels, plants, right? It can come from renewable energy sources and obviously Bitcoin can be mined. Now, it's not necessarily that Bitcoin created an incentives for people to profit off Bitcoin through dirty energy, right? Legacy media has driven this narrative. They have driven this narrative. And this is what I really talked about yesterday's video is that they, driv they drove this narrative where, where it's clear that Bitcoin is disrupting many institutions we talked about banks, we talked about Western Union, we talked about related companies that can are to be disrupted because you no longer need an institution between the merchant and the consumer or between peer to peer. Bitcoin, the ledger, the blockchain technology does it all for you. It's trustless, trustless, which means you don't need to trust, you just need to verify. And that also means that it reduces cost and obviously it, it will replace your institutions that are polluting the world i mean this is what i was thinking about last night are we just going to ignore all the skylines are we just going to ignore all the manufacturers like are we just going to ignore the manpower the infrastructure all the services the products that come from maintaining some of these institutions that bitcoin and related technologies such as crypto is disrupting i mean it's it's extremely unfair to point out bitcoin's emissions globally when you can clearly see in this table and uh, in this graph and in this table here guys the gold mining banking system governments paper currency they all use significantly more energy than bitcoin as of today right and i think it's extremely extremely unfair to really point out bitcoin uh and you know and this narrative like i said it is driven by legacy media this isn't no secret you see it on different CNBC, Wall Street Journal, New York Times. You see this all over again, you know, energy, energy, energy. Yet no one's going to talk about the energy required for gold mining, which is almost three times more than Bitcoin, right? And don't forget, guys, these are estimations, right? God knows all the businesses and the institutions that are around gold itself, right? And you got to think about this, guys, when you, you hear these types of you know, stories, you see, I'm, I'm not refuting the fact that Bitcoin mining has significantly increased in terms of energy consumption over the years, right? And it makes sense because transactions have increased, the network grew, but ultimately it's all about energy efficiency and long term, it's not about avoiding Bitcoin because there are some miners, 25% of them are mining through dirty fossil fuels. Right. It's extremely unfair to tackle down Bitcoin and related just because of the 25 percent miners. Right. And I do want to go back to this paper here from Ars Technica that Elon Musk linked on Twitter. I do believe communities and the citizens have a right to express what they feel, what they think and what they believe should be the right thing to do. And in this case, clearly this firm, this organization, this private equity firm is doing something that is causing pollution and they're doing it for the main reason for mining Bitcoin, right? For profits. The idea of mining, let's just step back for a second, actually. The idea of gaining profits on the back of hurting slash polluting the world has always been there, guys. This has been going for decades, for centuries. This isn't new. This isn't Bitcoin that's promoting this. Bitcoin is a technology on its own that requires electricity or some sort of computing power to mine it, right? But it's not Bitcoin that tells you to mine it through dirty energy. We believe that it should be communities, governments, 
authorities that should be regulating this process and that should be discouraging uh, companies, communities, citizens to mine Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies through dirty energy, right? Just like what we saw from these lawsuits from these communities, just like we saw from this paper here, guys, from Square, which is a public company, and ARK Invest, which we talked about in the past. And what they really talk about in this paper, research paper, is that Bitcoin really allows people to rethink about renewable energy sources to really accelerate the process of turning, moving away from dirty fossil fuels and moving towards renewable energy sources for that Bitcoin really promotes the idea that we should be accelerating our adoption to for clean energy, right? We're talking about it like you see here the energy sources hydro, wind, solar, solar. And it really talks about how instead of focusing on the minority of the miners that are basically using dirty energy sources, we should be focusing on with governments, with the help of governments, as citizens, as communities, we should be focusing on promoting clean energy because Bitcoin is here for to stay and it is here as an ideal complement for generation and storage of clean energy, right? So here they talk about combining generation with both storage and miners presents a better overall proposition than building generation and storage alone. Right. And it talks about how by combining miners with renewables and storage projects, we can improve return for potential investors and developers. We could allow further constructions of solar and wind projects and other renewable energy resources. And we can and then they talk about how you can provide the grid with readily available excess energy for common black swan event. We saw what happened in Texas uh, earlier this year and other places it's happening every single month there's always one region always one community that is running out of power due to whatever black swan event now we do believe that bitcoin mining should be encouraging investment in solar systems right so this this is something that has been mentioned in the past i think this is the wrong way of looking at it by closing are, like if you just like disallow yourself from this perspective and you just focus on the idea to eliminate Bitcoin because statistically it's using it's increasing its usage of energy. I think this is sort of looking at it through a, a narrow tunneled vision, right? If you think about it, we saw how Bitcoin is basically replacing institutions that are completely completely way 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 above bitcoin's energy consumption right we talked about paper currency we talked about banking system gold mining you know it, it's just to me it's a little bit it's very tunnel vision right this is the word i keep repeating myself when i think about this it's as an investor i think you want to hear out your counter arguments, but you just cannot help to feel yourself to feel that um, it's extremely tunnel vision to see Bitcoin has a mean to increase energy consumption. And because it's increasing in energy consumption, we should be focusing on crypto that has less energy consumption. Now, is Bitcoin perfect? Absolutely not. Should it be more efficient? Sure. I mean, is there certain flaws with that? Of course, there are. But I think there are bigger problems in our society, in our communities. I think governments and communities should definitely step in. We saw that private equity firm here really benefiting from on the backs of these communities in upstate New York. And not just upstate New York, but just in the world, right? It's happening in China. It's happening in unregulated reg regions where Bitcoin mining will happen no matter what. And this is going to be done through dirty energy, fossil fuels. And I think this is what we should be focusing on, right? Replacing those dirty energy. This should be accelerating that process, right? We should be promoting the idea that you can now mine Bitcoin with renewable energies as, as posed in the past, which you couldn't, right? So this is just accelerating this process. And that's what this research paper is about. So I just wanted to mention this, guys. I just wanted to go over this 
paper here briefly and obviously talk about the latest updates. My thoughts here on my end is that Elon Musk and Zach from Tesla, they're very smart people. They've done their research. You guys know how Elon Musk is. He's one of the greatest engineers of all time, one of the greatest entrepreneurs of all time. Um, I do believe he's done his research and they did invest $1.5 billion of Bitcoin earlier this year. I think this is a statement on their end to look for other cryptocurrencies, to basically look at other means and not just Bitcoin specifically, there's Ethereum, which is POS, which means proof of stake. And one of the benefits of proof of stake is that it, it utilizes less energy, which obviously is what we're talking about. So the idea right now is that maybe Elon Musk and Zach and others in Tesla are looking into adopting other cryptocurrencies. Another big, big, big topic is that maybe Tesla are thinking to you know fork their own coin right their own coin and maybe dedicate a team of developers to support that coin that crypto coin whatever it's called tesla coin whatever it will be and basically you know maintain that project and hopefully reduce the consumption of energy that with that way but again i think this is you when you think when you go in that rabbit hole guys like i said you got to step back for a second and look at the big picture. And again, Tesla had a mission is to accelerate the adoption of renewable energy sources. And of course, this matters to them. They don't want to adopt a certain cryptocurrency that they feel like there are other cryptocurrencies that can uh, accelerate their mission further. But at the same time, I think it's extremely unfair to point out that 25% miners, it's extremely unfair to ignore the adoption rate of Bitcoin, the network usage over time, and just look at the energy consumption. And again, it's extremely unfair to only look at specific anecdotal experiences through several firms that are using dirty energy. I think we should be looking at it on the macro level, level of things, and we should be pressuring our institutions such as governments and communities to make, to do to do what is right, right? Promote renewable energy sources and Bitcoin mining could definitely accelerate that like we saw in this video. So we'll end this video like this, guys. Hopefully you guys appreciate part two of yesterday's video. Um, a lot of information here. This is definitely, this has definitely disrupted uh, the crypto world as well as the Tesla world. I mean, the company stock was down extremely hard, not just, today but yesterday as well but obviously the whole market is down but you know it's been hit very hard and is it because of this announcement i think it's way too early to tell but it is what it is so guys keep your eyes open on these news you know in this channel we try to raise awareness and this is what we do i present it to you guys both sides of the arguments i already told you guys what i thought so Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. If you did, please like this video, guys. It really, really does help the channel. And if you subscribe, it really will help further. So we'll see each other in the next video. And thank you very much. And have a good day. Thank you.